Hi, and welcome to the fourth episode of Deep Doo Doo Nights. With me as always is Narcoleptic Nancy. Whoop, hello Doo Doo fans. Glad you're here tonight. And joining us, finally, and we're not kidding, it's the fanboys. We are really glad you could finally make it tonight. So are we. So why don't we go down the line, and you guys can introduce yourselves. I'm Frankie Four. I'm Antonio and. I'm Nate Noor. And I'm Billy But. Ha 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 but. Wow, I've never heard that one before. Now, I understand, we've only got part of the band tonight. That's right, the rest of our group disembarked early to Japan for our Japanese jam tour. So, unfortunately, we won't be in full force tonight. That's alright. And, hey, you just used our first vocab word of the night. True. Disembark means to leave or go away from. It comes from the Latin rutus, which means not, apart, or away. I hope our fans aren't too distraught over three of the fanboys not being here. So tell me, what's the biggest challenge facing boy bands today? Um, puberty. Not being taken seriously. Probably having to put up with all the annoying girls from Nichols Junior High who crush on us. Like Callie, Sydney, and Haley Lehu. She's the worst. Hey have any of you guys ever met a girl named Red Panda? Maybe she told you her name was Foxy Lady. We meet a lot of girls. Word. A lot. Of. Girls. This one says she's kissed one of you. A lot. Of. Girls. Did she give us some memento to remember her by? I don't know. Probably not. Then we probably have no memory of her. You may have a bad memory, but you sure know how to pump out the vocab words you just gave us two more. Okay, this girl was dressed like a superhero, kind of like me, only as a fox or red panda. Oh uh her. -huh. No, no one made out with her. Yes. Outstanding. Who was that? That was nobody. Ignore that. Wait. Was that Poopman? That was nobody. Please ignore the disembodied voice. I find the disembodied voice is a bit disturbing. I find the fact that you are zombie and the lead singer of a very popular boy band disturbing. I find the fact that you're all in your 20s and your fan base is girls aged 11 to 15 a bit disturbing. Me too, actually. Hey, isn't disturbing a vocab word? Yes, it is. It comes from the Latin root turb, which means to shake up. So should I order a milk turb at Dairy Queen the next time I go? That sounds like you are ordering milk and poop. Don't do that. That would be bad. Agreed. Would turbulence count? We've encountered that on some of our tours when we fly. Yeah, and also after eating dinner at Dairy Queen. Gross. Yeah. Turbulence is actually the other vocab word. It means commotion or violent shaking. So we should probably talk about some of your songs. You have some, right? I mean you're a band. Well, our big hit right now is Comic Chameleon, but we're about to release a new single called Serial Comma, Impress of My Heart. It's about commas and how no one else appreciates them, but we totally do. It seems like every one of your songs is about commas. Yeah, sort of like how every One Direction song is about how they appreciate the beauty of a girl that no one else does. Yeah, it's like they're trying to placate an audience of ugly girls and make them think they have a chance with One Direction or something. Yeah, but we were different than One Direction though. How's that? Well, first of all, we don't suck. And second of all, we sing about commas and grammar. Not girls. I'm starting to like you guys more and more. So the new song is called Serial Comma Empress of My Heart? Correct. It's a vocab word at all. Right from the Latin root S, which means female. Like, the female superhero girl you said tells everyone she's made out with us. She's a lioness. No. She's a red panda. Yeah. But lioness is the actual vocab word. I didn't know how to work it in.
We don't really only sing about calm as you know. Sometimes we sing about letters. We have a song called Calm Snip Growing. It's about growing sounds we make without vowels. It's also a vocab word coming from the Latin root sun, which means sound. Oh, and also that restaurant with the slushy happy hour Sonic. Actually, Sonic has to do with sound too. Like Sonic Boom. So are we going to get to hear your band's sound now? Sadly, no. You don't have a good enough sound system here to play the auto-tune tape of us singing for us to lip-sync and dance to. That's what One Direction said when they were here. I blame it on the rain. You blame what on the rain? The failing sound system. All right, that's all we have time for tonight. Join us tomorrow night when we'll make reference to bad 80s bands that 7th graders won't get.